Hi, I'm Maria Lang, a solutions architect at Losant. It's not always possible to connect devices directly to the cloud. They might generate too much data, they may not have an internet connection, or sometimes you just can't trust your internet connection when making critical decisions. But in most cases, a gateway can solve these problems. Losan provides a novel approach to edge computing because it enables you to build your logic in the cloud using our Visual Workflow Engine and deploy that same logic directly to your gateways. Throughout this video, I will be working off of the Losan Industrial Equipment Monitoring Application Template, which can be found in the Losan Application Template Library. So let's dive into the platform and take a closer look at Losan's Edge Compute. So what you have in front of you is an Edge device that is actually a Raspberry Pi. And that Raspberry Pi is able to read or to get the information from another device that's reading temperature and humidity in a room. So it looks and feels just like any other device. However, we have this Edge Compute tab. Now, Losan's Edge Compute works by installing the Losan Edge agent on a gateway. Once that agent is installed inside of a container on the device, we can then deploy workflows to them locally, just like we, like we would on the cloud. These workflows run directly on the device, which means they do not need internet access to run. However, they will store information and send it to the cloud once a connection is reestablished. This is a great way to pull information locally and then publish it to the cloud. What you can see in front of you is the agent, the Losan Edge agent that is currently installed on this device. And it's red because there is a new Losan agent available. So it's very important to note what version your device is running because it changes how you build your workflows, which I will cover when we jump into our workflow. We also have a list of deployed workflows right here. So you know exactly what this device is running. If I jump over into that workflow, I have, it is very simple. So what's going on here is I have a timer node that once an hour is requesting the temperature and humidity data from the device in the field through the Raspberry Pi, and then it's saving that device using a device state node. Now this device state node looks and feels just like the node on the cloud workflows. However, it saves the data to the device, in this case our Raspberry Pi, as well and then when or if you lose connection when it reconnects it can send the data from the device to the cloud so you're not going to lose any important information and you're also going to be running the workflow regardless of connection status now the other trigger node that i'm using here is a device command trigger node and that is triggered off of a dashboard. So if you're unsure of when the temperature and humidity updated last and you don't wanna sit around and wait for possibly an entire hour to know if you've got the most up-to-date temperature and humidity for the room, you can push a button on a dashboard which will then trigger this workflow to report in the state of the temperature and humidity in the room. Now your edge workflow has certain nodes that only make sense when working in the edge. So these are nodes you wouldn't see on your cloud workflow, workflows. Things such as file watch or OPC UA. We also have the ability to trigger with a UDP message. If you come down into our data nodes, we have our Allen Bradley BACnet um, OPC UA read write nodes and as well as Modbus. We also have the ability to run executables on the device itself. So you have a lot more capability because you're working with the device. The workflow is running on the device itself. 
So over here on the right where our debug panel is, you can see we have our live feed. But one thing I would like to point out is you have the ability to debug a specific device. So in this case, I could select the edge device. It's I only have one device, however, so it's not too beneficial to me at this point in time. I also have the ability to version, just like a cloud workflow. But the one thing I really want to cover with you is this agent version. Like I talked about when we were in the devices, the current version of your workflow, the current LOSANT version of your workflow needs to match the version that is installed on your device. So here again, we have this big notice that's saying, hey, your edge agent is not using the newest version of LOSANT. So I can do one of two things. I can update my edge agent and then I would have all the new features available. Or I need to make sure that my workflow, my Edge workflow, is using the same version as the version installed on my agent, which in this case is 1.23, even though there is a 1.24. If I were to build this workflow on 1.24, I would not be able to deploy it to my Edge device that I'm using with version 1.23 on it. Now, when you save a LOSAN Edge workflow, it saves it here in the cloud. However, in order for it to go live, you then need to deploy it, which is different than how a cloud workflow works. When you save a cloud workflow, it goes live. But with an Edge, you need to select which devices you're going to deploy it to. It's not going to automatically go out to every device in your application. So just to, to reiterate, the LOSAN Edge Agent makes edge computing simple and allows developers to extend the reach of IoT, especially when your enterprise requires always-on, local control, and efficient data processing. If you would like to learn more, I would recommend looking into Losant University, which provides a deeper dive into what I just covered. You can also explore our documentation and forums. If you would like to jump in and start working in Losant today, you can do that by creating a Sandbox account.